Hi guys, this is Sadek from Problem.com and in this video, we'll show you how to install the latest Android 16 GSI ROM on any Android phone without using a PC. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and let's get started. First off, install the Triple Info app from Play Store, launch the app, go to the second tab and verify that it's shown as supported, your phone should be shown over here as supported. If that's all well and good, then let's get started. First off, you have to unlock the booters on your phone. Do know that doing so will wipe off all the data. That's all well and good. You could have a look at my article and get the job done in Zomi. In case of OnePlus and Pixel phone, you have to use the Fireboot Flashing Unlock command. You will then get a prompt on your phone. So use the volume key to highlight and unlock the boot there and press the power key to confirm. In case of Samsung phone, you have to boot the phone to the download mode. Once it's in the download mode, you then have to long press the volume up key to go to the device unlock mode. Once you are inside the device unlock mode, once again press the volume up key to unlock the boot order. As Let me show you once again. The download mode, press the volume up key. And once again, press the volume up key and that's it. Once you're inside the OS, please enable Wi-Fi and verify that OEM unlocking is shown here, enabled and gray out. That's all well, well, if that's all well and good, then it's unlocking is now done. In case of Xiaomi phones, if you're on Mi, if you're on Mi UI, then you could use the Mi Unlock tool. Whereas if you are on HyperOS, then you have to use the Hyper Exploit approach. The Hyper Exploit works something like this. Let me show you, I made a video and a guide on that as well. You may have a look at my video and get the job done. Once you unlock the booter on your phone, Let's move on with the next step. Moving on, you now have to install the Shizuku app from Play Store or GitHub. So I have the APK from GitHub. Let me install the app. And likewise, please enable the dev option on your phone as well. And enable wireless debugging from there. So go to the settings menu on your phone. From that, go to about phone, type on build number OS version 7 times. Then go back, go to about phone or system. From system, go to dev options. And please enable the toggle next to wireless debugging. So go there and enable this toggle. If you're on a Xiaomi phone, Poco, Redmi or Xiaomi, then please enable th this option as well. The debugging secure set settings option from here. This also needs to be enabled as well. Moving on. Once that is done, now install the Shizuku app and launch it. First of tap on pairing and the wireless debugging. Go to notification options. Allow notifications. Then go back. And first off, long press on the Shizuku app. App info. Then go to battery. And choose no restriction. And once that is done, launch this app once again. Now tap on dev options, wireless debugging. Now tap on pair de device pairing code. You will now get a code and a prompt as well. So input the code over here 310632. 310632. Hit the enter key. Pairing is now done. So now minimize this. Launch the Shizuku app once again. Go back. Now tap on start. And now again, you might have to tap on dev option once again. So let's do that once again. Wireless debugging. Turn this off and re enable it. And now you'll be able to do the connection without any issue whatsoever. As you could see, it's now up and running. So with this, we are now inside the Shizuku is now running in ADB mode. In case of Xiaomi phones, it's quite a hard task to enable Shiz Shizuku app. It's very difficult. Anyways, on that note, we are now inside the Shizuku app now up and running. So let's move on with the next step. Now you have to install the DSU app from GitHub. So let's install the APK file. Hit the install button. Don't open More the app right now. Just tap on done. Now install the get hold of the GSI ROM file from the official Google site. Let me show you. Open this link. Download the GSI ROM file from here. Scroll down and this is the file. If you could verify the CPU architecture for your phone from the Triple Info app. As you could see in my case, ARM64. Download the GSI ROM from here. G GMS is for the GI package and non-GMS is for the vanilla build. For now I'm using the non-GMS package. So once you've got the GSI ROM file, extract the file be in a zip file simply extract it upon extraction you get a few files simply copy the img file the system img file and paste the file onto your phone but before that please make a new folder on your phone and name the folder as gsi and place the rom file inside that only let me show you what i mean file transfer and first and foremost make a new folder on your phone name the folder as gsi and place the rom file inside that folder only as you could see this is the this is my GSI folder and the ROM file is there onto my phone inside the GSI folder. Once that is done, you will now launch the app, the DSU app onto your phone. App. So you get a Shizuku prompt, tap on allow all the time. Now tap on setup and choose the GSI folder where is the GSI ROM, tap on use this folder, allow. Now tap on grant, proceed and choose the file to be installed. So choose the GSI ROM onto your phone. This is the GSI ROM. Now tap on user data size, give it a size, the storage size, let's keep it around 4GB. That will be more than enough for this ROM. Then tap on install. 
the fasting will not start tap on proceed will take up to around a, around i guess 4 to 5 minutes at the very max so guys once that is done the file will not be installed onto your phone so tap on allow one time access and it will not be installed onto your phone and will take only a few more seconds so let's keep a track of that as well and after that you just have to do a restart after a restart you will have the android 16 gsi onto your phone up and running as well so let's wait for this to complete onto our phone only a few more seconds when that is done you will now get a prompt on your phone expand the notification and tap expand this the issue prompt tap on restart the phone should now restart to the android 16 gsi and if everything and as you could now see you are now inside, inside the android 16 gsi in just a single tap you could now easily make a switch from the android 16 gsi to the stock rom as well but for now you could see it's the android 16 gsi and you have all the features the new qs tiles is there as well and apart from that the new this slider is also there the bar is also there then the entire menu has been changed with the colorful modes likewise in case of the tweaks as well all the tweaks will be there for the android 16 and the sliders as you could see these all are the new sliders likewise the, the, the these bars are also new the menu bar the cross and right these are all new in android 16 if you've got in gsi rom this gsi rom you and could you see there are the colors appearance they are in all own separate sections as you could see the log display brightness they have their own sections now in android 16 as well and you could carry out all the tasks you want for example and the best part is that you can easily make a switch from this rom to the stock rom in just one tap just tap on here and you will now be back to the stock os and they both have their own separate sections the data is also separate if you take a screenshot over here let me show you the screenshot will not be shown on that section you have just taken a screenshot but this will not be shown on the stock os it only be there inside this rom only if you go to the gallery now to see we have a screenshot but this will not be shown on that now if you want to go back to the stock os just do a single tap of restart the phone will now go to the stock os and with this you will back inside the stock os and there will be no data exchange in both the slots whatsoever let me show you that so as you could see we are now inside the xiaomi hyper os which was my stock os so in just a single tap i can go between the android 16 gsi rom and the stock os is quite a handy feature and if I now open the phone and open any album, let's say the Google Photos, you could see I don't have any screenshot whatsoever on this phone. So the data are separate for both the phones. If I take a screenshot over here, let me take a screenshot over here, then that will be not shown on that GSI as well. Both are their own separate data partition as well. Screenshot is now taken. Just give me a second. This is a screenshot as you could see of the HyperOS. This will be there, but it's not there inside the Android 16 GSI. They both are their own running on their own. Now, just you have to do a tap on this. So you go, now have got the notification expanded. Tap on restart. And once again, I'll be inside the Android 16 GSI. And I'll show you the screenshot will not be there on the GSI ROM. Both have their own separate data partitions. So let me show you that as well, just to verify as well, that they both are having their own partitions of data as well. So there will be no exchange of any data. You, your privacy will stay intact across both the OS and in just one single tap you can go from the Android 16 GSI to the stock OS and back to the Android 16 GSI as when required so now if I open the uh, gallery app you could see I only have the single screenshot there's no screenshot of the MIUI ROM the hyper OS so guys on that note we round up this video if you have any query with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching